Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Well, mining has certainly been in the news recently, has it not? Yes, it has. And since the launch of the January update, I bet Frontier's little help desk phone has been ringing off the handle. Their email box must be overflowing. They must have had an awful lot of feedback as well about the changes that have been made in mining. Uh, and I think it's probably worthwhile addressing these in this video. Um, and it's all about the supply and demand for high-end minerals. So, let's go through the update that was recently announced by Frontier on their forum last night. So they state that in the January update, they have rebalanced the mining of certain high-end commodities to better represent a realistic supply and demand process based on the system's economy. So what does this mean really? Well, you're going to get less for the void opals, I suppose, that you mine. Okay, so all those high, mo high materials that you've been looking for and making billions, billions of credits for are not going to be so lucrative. They're going to be lucrative, but not as lucrative. So what this effectively means that a station's purchasing price for minerals will reduce as the demand is met. Therefore, the more people put into a particular system that's offering a good price on, say, low temperature diamonds or panite, then, you know, the less you're going to get for it, as is probably true in the real world. They've also adjusted supply and demand levels for different economies. For example, there will be a lower demand in a colony economy, for example, for high-end minerals, as those economies do not require as much. But for example, in a refinery economy, then you tend to get a more higher demand for higher end minerals within Elite Dangerous, as those economies would really require more. So by implementing these changes, what Frontier wanted to do was to generate those gold rush opportunities. Hey, get over there and sell your void opals. Get over there, sell your low temperature diamonds. Get your Alexandrite out. All that sort of stuff. Um, that will mean people, really, they'll be able to guide people to certain areas of the map to make an awful lot of money. That's how I'm seeing this. I don't know what you think. Put it in the comments. You think I'm being a bit tinfoil hat time? It could be, though. I mean, look at the Thargoids. Hey, the Thargoids. Hey, the Genosis. Hey, economies that will buy your low-temperature diamonds off you for a lot of credits. Get everybody over there and then then do something else at the other end of the map, so then people go, oh, I've got to go over there now. And then that gives more people in-game playing, traveling from one to the other. So those gold rush opportunities is what they're talking about there. So increasing the viability of smaller mining vessels for all you people rocking out there in a Type 10 um, and doing your mining there and earning millions upon millions upon millions of credits. Well, they can't jump very far, can they? So, you know, but those people who are out there mining in the Python, as you see here, the Manic Badger, um, you know, could well possibly get to those mining locations a little bit better. It's all open for interpretation. We've got to see how it goes. So they've identified a number of issues in regards to mining and the supply and demand of, min of minerals, and they're going to be looking through this. Um, so the demand for low temperature diamonds has remained high, which is not in keeping with other high-end minerals. So if you're already done so, get out there, mine those high temperature diamonds. So they're going to be aiming to correct that, okay, and an update that's going to be coming out probably on the server side. And then when identifying stations with supply and demand for high-end minerals such as void opals or panite and low temperature diamonds, commanders need to have the specific mineral in their cargo hold in order to search for them on the galaxy map. Oh dear. So from tomorrow, commanders will be able to toggle these minerals in the galaxy map without needing to have them in the commodities in the cargo hold, which is good. So you haven't got a price. So, okay, good, good one, Frontier. Good, fix something. Um, when selling minerals at a station, the price that is offered is based on the amount currently in your cargo hold. While this has always been the case, we've passed the feedback onto the team for consideration for future improvement in the future. So, when selling minerals at a station, the price that is offered is based on the amount you currently hold in your cargo hold. So, if you've got a lot of void opals, they know they're going to have your pants down. Um, therefore, they're not going to pay you as much. 
Hmm. Or will they keep it the same? Who knows? This has been met with um, a lot of feedback on the forum, to be honest. You know, people are saying regarding supply and demand volumes, where there changes to be non-mining commodities and was this intentional? You know, why have you changed this? Why can it be left the same? Oh my God, I'm not making as many credits as I used to. They're saying not a surprise that low temperature diamond faces the same fate like others. You know, people are flying around in massive ships without going through the grind and without going through the time due that they have to do to try and attain them. And we've seen this with every other exploit. But is mining being treated like an exploit? Or was it broken from the get-go? Was Frontier so eager to get out there and to have that lovely thumping explosion that you get when you crack open that void opal mined core and collect all those materials? Were they so eager to get that out there and to have a change? They thought, well, oh, the economy can handle it. Who knows? All things to consider. Do you think that mining is still a viable option for making money? Are you going to go back to passenger missions? A passenger missions um, going to be the next thing to get into the tweak. Who knows? What about you know, traditional missions? Combat? Where are people making their money? Is it just mining? Going out there, mining something for a relatively small cost, spending three or four hours, coming back, whap, you've got a billion in the bank, everybody. That fleet carrier will be yours. Who knows? All these questions we have to ask. All these questions. And only time is really going to tell. So that's a brief update on what's happening with mining. Changes are coming. There were changes in the January 2020 update and in the hotfix. And now here we are in February. And more mining changes for Elite Dangerous are in progress. But hey, thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. This has been a brief talk on the changes that are coming in mining in February 2020 to Elite Dangerous. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so, because that goes a hell of a long way on YouTube these days. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care and fly safe.